Hey comic fans, welcome to another edition of the Cosmic Comic Book Broadcast. This time I got it right. This is my second unboxing video and this time I promise there won't be any crazy camera angles and I will keep everything straight. Yeah, this is something that I bought on eBay just recently and it just arrived today. So let's find out what I've got. I want to thank you for watching the video my very first video my first unboxing and uh, as promised if things went well I would come back with a second one so this is my second attempt so let's see how it goes I bought this uh, over eBay uh, thanks to a very another uh, trusted seller his name is Tony uh, I like to give a big shout out to Tony RBD uh, who's in Texas I do believe Tony thank you very much uh, always a very kind uh, e-seller and uh, I was looking at this item for many many months I didn't think I would want to buy it but in the end I thought yeah might as well these days I'm on a I'm on a classic comic kick as in I've been trying to buy some older stuff older comic books and when I saw this one I thought yeah I'm gonna bid on this and uh, well I bought it anyway okay nicely packed by Tony thank you very much Tony looks really nice more bubble wrap to add to my collection okay Let's take this out. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Two layers of bubble wrap. That should be okay. I see some comics. Yeah. Let's get rid of this. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah. Okay. You can see that there are quite a few issues, and they're they're the meat in a cardboard sandwich. Oh. Okay. Let's see if I can cut this one out. Yeah. There you go. Put this away. And okay. Yeah, look at this. Okay. I'm gonna try and cut the comic. I definitely don't wanna cut the comic. Let's see if I can just peel this off. Okay, there you go. There it is. Um I don't know whether you can see this properly. I think I'll get rid of the box so you have a better angle. There we go. This is um, a collection of Fantastic Four comics. You see, I've been a I've been an avid collector of Fantastic Four comics, and um, when I found out that John Byrne had left uh, Fantastic Four, I I kind of stopped collecting, and I was staying away from Fantastic Four for quite a few years, until Carlos Pacheco took over, and then Mike Waringo and uh, and Mark Wade took over. There was a period where I just stopped collecting and reading Fantastic Four and I missed out on quite a bit actually and this is the era or the time period where I really missed out on these comics so when I saw this on offer on eBay I thought yeah at first I ignored it then I came back and I kept looking at it and I thought yeah I'm gonna get it this time and I did and uh, wow okay here we go this is issue 302 of Fantastic Four now Correct me if I'm wrong. I I could be mistaken, but this is the these are the issues rather uh, that was uh, handled by the Busema brothers, uh, John and Sal Busema. They were doing the artwork. Three zero three. Here you go. That's Fantastic Four three zero three. Okay. All right, let's see if you can get a good angle of that. I'm not going to tilt the camera this time, so there's not going to be any funny uh, funny angles or anything like that. Okay. I hope the lighting is okay. This is 303. 304 with the appearance of Quicksilver in this issue. Yeah, okay, there you go. Hope you can see that. The Thing versus the Torch. Really nice artwork here um, on the covers. And looking at the conditions of each issue looks pretty good. Very good, in fact. That's why I thought, yeah, I'm going to go for it. Inked by jo Jolton Joe Sinnott. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Jolton Joe Sinnott. Yeah, there you go. Number 306. Going on now to number 307. Yeah, now the this is one of the main reasons why I bought this. Because of the covers by Ron Friends. Now, Ron Friends, he used to draw Amazing Spider-Man and then Thor and quite a few other issues. Superman as well. And he did the covers for uh, Fantastic Four during this period. If I'm not mistaken, the interior artwork is by Keith Pollard, also another great artist. And uh, he has uh, quite a few very, very good uh, covers for Fantastic Four. 
Okay, that was 308. Okay, that's the tape stuck to it. All right, let's see if I can get this out of the way. All right, there you go. Now, coming up on a very key issue to me, that's 309. Uh, yeah, 309 marked the appearance of a new Fantastic Four. Apparently, uh, Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman uh, either resigned or quit from the team. I'm not too sure which. And uh, Ben Grimm took over as the leader of the Fantastic Four. Now, this one, this issue here, featured a, a change, a metamorphosis uh, for Ben Grimm, the thing, when he changed his appearance changed, his power levels changed as well. I think this is a great issue. Another great cover here from Fantastic Four, that's 310. And one of the other members of the Fantastic Four, Miss Marvel, also uh, had a change. She became the She Thing, I think. And um, if I'm not mistaken, in the last few issues of Fantastic Four, before Marvel stopped printing or publishing Fantastic Four, the she thing was in prison yeah here's another one which i remember it i actually read this a few years ago this is fantastic four 312 a tie-in with uh, x factor fall of the mutants tie-in rather and another great cover by ron friends i like that so the main reason why i bought all this is because of ron friends i think his artwork is great and keith pollard as well Another great artist who's done so many Fantastic Four issues. There's another one. 313. There you go. All the way to 314. Velasco. Okay. From the pages of the X Men. Ah, Master Pandemonium. That's a character, really, uh, an obscure character. I think he made his first appearance uh, in West Coast Avengers, I'm not too sure. I think the reason why he's in Fantastic Four is because Fantastic Four during this period was written by Steve Englehart, who used to write for uh, West Coast Avengers. 316. Okay, well, oh, that's a nice cover. Another great one by Friends, Ron Friends, and Joe Sinnott. I think they work well together, and as I mentioned before, it's because of these two that I decided to buy this load, this uh, collection of Fantastic Four. There you go. That's 318, so it's 302 up to 318, and finally, this one was a surprise to me. This was also part of the collection that I bought. Fantastic Four Annual Number 19. It's a double-sized annual, and it features... The Avengers, artwork by John Byrne and Kyle Baker, if I'm not mistaken. I have to check that out. All right. Yeah, I like this one. And I thought it was... Uh, I think it's a great buy. All together, didn't cost me that much. And this time around, uh, the Postal Service actually brought it to my house. Yeah, so this time, they actually uh, didn't make me go down to the post office this time. Well, that's my second unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a look at a collection of Fantastic Four comic books. Yeah, this is going to complete a little gap in my collection. Um, I'll show you more in the future because uh, what you see behind all this, these boxes over here, um, if I can just, we've got boxes here and here, plastic boxes. What happened was I started clearing out all my comics and putting them in bags and I began boarding them as well and uh, I bought some of these boxes to store them so what I'm gonna do in the future in future videos is to show you what's inside all these boxes right here I'm gonna tilt the camera just a little bit yep right here okay alright so that's gonna come up in future editions of the cosmic comic book broadcast now um, you can subscribe to my channel if you like or leave me a like and uh, yeah you can come back and visit me and also have a look at some of the next videos I've got coming up. You can visit me on my blog. It's uh, the Cosmic Comic Book Broadcast.blogspot.com. Or you can look for me on YouTube. That is uh, just type in Comic Book Broadcaster. All right. Well, thank you once again for uh, 
taking a look taking a look at this video hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again next time for the cosmic comic book broadcast